Okay, so this is a follow-up to the video I did a couple of years ago on the uh, air compressor when I did the unboxing. Oddly enough, this video has gotten over 20,000 views, and which for me is a lot. Um, and I've gotten a lot of requests to do a follow-up, and um, I still get questions on it. I got one the other day, as a matter of fact. Um, so I thought I'd just kind of go over it. Um, so I give a, it gets used a lot. I mean, uh, there probably isn't a weekend that goes by that I don't use it pretty heavily uh, <clears throat> for all sorts of things from, you know, sanding to, I got an angle grinder, impact wrenches, and uh, so far it's worked flawlessly. I haven't had to do anything except clean out the air filter occasionally, and uh, I change the oil pretty regularly. Um, it's got instructions on the side. Um, I just kind of follow that. Uh, I drain the tank eh, probably once a month or so. It's due, which is why the cardboard's under there. I'm going to drain it out and kind of show you what's how much comes out. It's a pretty standard amount, really. Um, so this is the 10-gallon. And I get a lot of questions are, why don't you just go for the 20-gallon, which is only like, you know, depending on the sales, 30 to $50 cheap, uh, more. The reason is, <clears throat> I had two reasons for getting this. One is, it was what I could afford. At the time I bought this, the 20 gallon was mm, probably $110 more than this. Also, um, I had pretty stringent CFM requirements. This one is 6 CFM, I believe, at 90 PSI. The 20 gallon's only 4.5 at 90 PSI. And I needed five <clears throat> for what I was doing. So. Um, I gave up less tank capacity for um, the higher CFM, and it worked out. And for me, 10 is generally enough. Um, the, I rarely empty the tank, uh, but when I do, it's usually because I'm painting like gas tanks and stuff. Um, and so what I do is I hook this up. i got a, an adapter that goes there that runs right there. So that gives me a combined total of about 18 gallons of air, and that's generally enough. I can paint an entire tank and not have it uh, kick on, and that's the goal. Is I don't want it kicking on and creating dust in, in, in clouds. Um, and when I paint, I'm usually painting because it's bad outside, and I don't want to put the compressor outside, right? So, um, so it works out, you know, for me. Most of the time, this is just standalone. I use this to fill tires and whatever. So it comes in very handy for that. I've had to take it to a friend's house to air up his tractor tires and stuff. So it's just more portable this way. <clears throat> and for the times I know I'm going to need extra capacity, I just plug it in and it works pretty good. Uh, there was one time I let it sit for about three months. And when I came back out and turned it on, because it was I had turned it off with... About half the tank, it was, you know, maybe half full. Um, it wouldn't start, and I thought I blew a circuit breaker, but checked, I didn't. Uh, but I just hit the valve up here, a little puff of air came out, and it kicked on right away. It scared the bejeebus out of me, but <clears throat> it worked. Um, after that, I haven't had any other problems, so that was you know, that was about it. Uh, I've been using the uh, Central Pneumatic oil uh, compressor oil that I got with it. That seems to be working okay, so. I'll keep up with that um, but overall like I said I use it a lot and I'm pretty pleased with it for the money I paid for it I, I don't know um, I would love a brand name compressor off in a corner just kicking out as more air than I would ever need but I just didn't have the money or um, the room for it frankly so this works really well um, but if you don't have stringent CFM requirements go with the 20 gallon it's only a little bit more than this one and it, it, I think you'd be happier with it <clears throat> having said that let me um, uh, I'll turn off the camera because it's loud and obnoxious and, uh, um, and by the way this the compressor noise when it's filling up isn't any different now than it was when I got it so you know, that's good too. It hasn't gotten louder over time, I guess is what I'm saying. Um, so anyway, I'll drain out the water, just kind of give you an idea of what it looks like and how much comes out. Okay, back in a minute. <clears throat> okay, well, it's going to be hard to see, but it's about, I don't know, size of a quarter maybe. 
Uh, that's all that came out of it after about a month of pretty good use, you know, kicking on several times over the weekends. So that's not too bad. So, you know, takes on about as much water as any other uh, air compressor. Um, but if you're going to do any painting, <clears throat> you definitely want a water filter um, on the end of your hose. Something I didn't get, which I'm going to rectify soon. Um, and then what I usually do is I take the valve out and just let it sit over the weekend. Or not a weekend. Overnight. And uh, I just kind of let it dry out so that all the moisture is out of it. Uh, but so far so good. No rust. No rust in the water. Uh, the paint's holding up for what that matters. The only issue I had is I dropped something on here and um, busted the lens. But it still works. So yeah, I'm okay with that. Um, although it seems to be stopping it now. The, the See it's reading 40 PSI, 45, and it's not there. <laughs> so I'll have to take that off and fix that. But... <clears throat> Uh, overall, pretty good. The, um, the valve to adjust the air pressure, eh, you know, it's so-so. It doesn't, it's not very accurate, so, uh, I'll get one of those water filters and then it'll have a air volume control knob on there. Not, I usually keep it wide open anyway, but, yeah, you know, it is what it is. Um, and then, in case you're wondering, the on-off switch is right there. So, that's about it. That that concludes the uh, couple year review of this uh, device. I kind of waited till now because you know I wanted to make sure I got a lot of use out of it and could give a decent review, follow up review. You know, um, I, I I can't use something for a month or two and then go, oh look, of all you know how well it worked out. No, you got to use it for a while, right? So anyway, I'll throw this up there. Uh, you know. Anybody wants to see the follow-up, this is it. Okay, talk to you later.